Hey, boys and girls, this is Richard from Spirits of Japan. Come by. Ah, just love sake. Only drinking for medicinal purposes, of course. So, guys, <clears throat> not in the count of Wikipedia, but in the count of um, my count. We are on today number 26, 27, 28, and 29th Emperors of Japan. Budetsu, who uh, from 498 to 506, our first kid emperor and uh, overall ass. Uh, 507 to 531. Uh, it's going to be Emperor Keitai, um, Emperor An Ankan, and Senka, who was four years each, and they span 531 to 539. So let's get on it right now. <clears throat> so Budetsu, if you remember, before that, we had Emperor Ninken, who had um, eight kids. Huh? Four, five, seven, seven, seven. Yeah, but uh, with 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 the um, Empress, who was Emperor Uyuraku's daughter, he had seven, and six of those were girls. He had one mean ass little kid who's going to eventually grow up to be uh, one boy. It's a, a, a Emperor Budetsu. This kid, uh, when Ninken dies, is the only heir. And he is just, I don't know if it was spoiled. I don't know what it was. Maybe. Maybe because it just, it's just, uh, it's, it's everywhere you read, it's all the people trembled in fear. Nine years old, nine to 17. Um, so the only person that saves this whole thing is this, uh, this other guy called Kanamura. Otomo no Kanamura no Muraji. And this guy is going to be with these four emperors that I just talked about. Thank goodness, because he's probably the glue that kind of held everything together. But this Budetsu guy, um, little kid, he um, they set him up with an empress, um, uh, a girl named uh, Iratsume, and, uh, and they have no kids. But this just he's just evil, man. Um, uh, and, and I'm sure there was a minister when he when he when he became emperor that knew this this guy was going to be this this kid was going to be this way. So somehow he had snaggled some money from the from the, the imperial family, um, maybe under Ninken, and promised to build uh, a, a palace for, uh, for for the for Budetsu, and never did, moved in himself. And so uh, when, when it came around that uh, this little nine-year-old, and I don't know how you were when I was nine, but I was it, and I've seen some nine-year-olds that, uh, that are on it, and uh, I wasn't, I was still like, eh, you know, watching cartoons, and you know, I, I don't know, I'm a late bloomer, I guess. But this minister, this Heguri no Matori no Omi guy, moves in, and Kanamaru, he knows it's bad. It's a bad deal. So he goes up to uh, the, the emperor. He goes, look, look, you should be sovereign. And he fills his head with, uh, you know, whatever he, he did to say, uh, you know, to get his trust. And he says, I will fight for you, but you got to let me do it my way. And uh, he does. So the guy... <laughs> <laughs> and Kanamaru, and I think he's a, he seems like a pretty nice guy because the, of what he did and his suggestions and recommendations along the line of these these the rest of these emperors. But oh my God, he not only hunts down and goes and attacks the palace and and takes Matori out, but he takes his descendants out, takes his family out. So it's pretty 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 brutal. So with that said, uh, if you don't like to hear bad stuff. You might want to cover your ears because I'm just going to go through seven or eight things that this this uh, kid, this kid, this spoiled little shit did. Um, he cut out a pregnant woman's um, um, fetus just to examine it. Did himself when he was a kid. Um, pulled a man's fingernails out. And after that, he made him dig uh, up sweet potatoes. Made men lay down in, in, in a, uh, a reservoir. And then as they're being washed away, he would stab them as they came down the, the little stream. Um, made a man climb a tree, shot him with a bow and arrow. Guy fell out, laughed, laughed at him. And I don't know if these guys did anything bad or not, you know, and if that was, but it was never in there. It was always that he was scary. Um, made women strip naked and have sex with a horse. I don't know what that even means. And um, yeah, I'm not even going to get into to that. Um 
he had dwarves and poets perform obscene music lewd, in lewd voices and prepare outrageous plays. I think there's something wrong. There's something wrong. Uh, he had extravagant meals uh, during famine because he didn't deal with anything. He just let it all go. I don't know what Kanamata was doing, but I mean, he, he just, you know, if you don't have the emperors. Well, anyway, in the winter, at the age of 17, the guy dies. Um, the guy, there's no there's no children, there's no heirs. So what what goes on is that, well, it's got something's got to be done. So they, um, Kanamata um, tells the elders, look. I know a guy. I know a guy. Um, and he's the fifth generation from Olgin. And if you remember Olgin, Olgin was uh, back when, um, wasn't too bad. Olgin, 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 um, 270 to 310. He was the fifth generation um, of his family, which say, you know, same family. So um, what he does is uh, gets the okay. He goes, hunts this guy down. And so what they do is they take Budetsu's sister, okay, his, her older, his older sister, uh, Tashiraka, and marries him to her. He accepts the position. He goes, yeah, I'll do it. Um, but this guy is on it, man. He's uh, he, uh, he's 57 when he takes over, but he's on it. He's got he's got his stuff together. Um, not only is uh, he seems you know uh, he he uh, like like he's a good ruler, but he's um, there was a lot of political upheavals because of what Brutus did and what Brutus did not do, and uh, you know, a lot of rebellions going on. And then he he he's emperor for twenty four years. It takes him twenty years to get everything calmed down. So it must have just been bleh for such a long time, but that's okay uh, because he had a he had, had a little fun while he was doing it. Well, <laughs> he only takes the empress uh, Tashiraka and has uh, a child with him. Um, uh, with her, but he also has eight consorts, has 20 other kids. <laughs> so believe me, he's enjoyed himself, all right? Eight consorts, 20 other kids. Now, before the empress, uh, 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 uh him had a baby, he already had two, two kids, two boys. And I guess it just took, a, obviously he was having, he's with the consorts before mom and, uh, the first son was uh, going to be Emperor Ang Khan, which is going to be the next emperor. And then the second son, um, a guy named Hino, uh, Hinokuma, will come and become Senka and uh, uh, Hinokuma no Takata. And so uh, on um, uh, Ang Khan, it's really weird because the day that Keitai abdicates, he calls uh, Ang Khan to his room and goes, look, I'm, you know, and, and in front of everybody in Shinto, he's a you know, priest and everything. He says, I abdicate and I pass everything to you. The guy dies on that day. So he knew he was dying. There was something going on. Uh, really can't find anything about it. But Ankan becomes emperor. Now, even though this guy is a hard to read person, and now we're into, um, we're into uh, 531. Um, everything is then taken care of by Keitai. So he's got everything... Back to where I guess everything's running a lot better now. Um, and Ankan turns out to be this really brave, real generous, uh, real good ruler. Okay. Um, so he reappoints Kanamura because Kanamura was under Budetsu. And then when uh, Keitai took over, he kept him. And then Ankan goes, Yes, sir, you're doing a great job. Could you stay? Um, and Ankan doesn't have any um, children either. He, he marries his half sister. Um, uh, from a consort, okay. His dad had a, you know, and uh, when, when he um um he, he also has three consorts, um uh, no no kids, so he had four four chances. Uh, so I don't know what was going on, but uh, he he does, he never has any any kids. So um he goes up to Kanamata and he goes, man, what if what, what, I want my name to 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 be remembered. So he says, look, you know. You should do whatever's good for the people. So he establishes ranches, farms, granaries. Um, uh, you know, he's uh, ox and farming and things like that. Um, wow. He's, uh, he just, he really tries to do good and is very generous. And even though in his four-year reign, and he dies at the age of um, 69 years old. So no kids. Now his brother takes over immediately, and Senka 
uh, I guess this guy again was was uh, uh, what was said about. He's a pure character. He was exceedingly bright. Um, he never boasted about himself. Didn't go around acting like an ass. Um, was uh, very nice. I guess just like his brother. So I guess they had a hell of a mom. You know, um, the people of high rank loved to serve him willingly. So uh, you know, he never had to yell or you know. Um, and then he also added uh, Kanamaru into the, the mix, too. So he asked him to stay on. And uh, he was already elderly at 60, 69, dies when he's 71. But he um, and, and he also takes a wife from Budetsu. Remember Budetsu, the evil little kid? Uh, another one of the sisters. Brings her in and actually has five kids with her. Uh, three girls, a boy, and then one died um, miscarried, um, uh, right, right, uh, like stillborn, and the gender was never revealed. Um, then he had two consorts, he had a little boy with one, and then he had a little girl and a boy with another. So, um, and, and, um, uh, the, the first consort, um, <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, the second consort, the, um, there's a, a princess Hikage, and then with the empress, he has, uh, three girls, uh, Ishii, Hime, Oishi Hime, and Kura no Wakaya Hime. And I'll let you know in the next segment, because all these four girls become the wives of Emperor Kime, who's going to be the next emperor. So there you go. Under 12 minutes, went through four Budetsu, Keitai, Ankan, and Senka, uh, going extending from. 498 AD uh, to 539, which ends this particular um, segment. We're going to move into the what's called the Asuka period, which is 539 to 710. And we'll talk about those emperors, uh, some of them, uh, and uh, 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 we're going to talk about all of them, but uh, uh, probably won't bunch them up like we do here. So, again, thanks, guys, very much. Uh, at Nihon Tamashi, please follow me. Uh, we're going to go through all 127 of them. So, it's going to take a year, but we'll get it all done. All right. So, again, take care. Please follow me and subscribe. Take care.